Here's the new Project Carnage 2018 F-150. what's been going on is I've been waiting for about two weeks for an appointment to open up uh, it has taken some time it's a busy dealership it's a big dealership so they're gonna take care of me hopefully um, and then this will be really the first real update uh, if you will for you to know, drop the car off but if you guys don't know what's going on uh, about 4,500 miles is really when it started on a stock car started having a lot of transmission like thudding into like you know fourth and fifth gear um, and didn't want to shift out of fifth when sometimes when it went into fifth there would be a loud audible clunk and I'm not talking about hard shifting this is it, it was much more severe than that and also here recently it's actually been having a lot of problems downshifting especially going into third gear when it's downshifting um, so I've been driving around normal mode for a long time this will do this in every single mode by the way it doesn't matter what you what you do what if you're in sport track normal doesn't matter the paddle shift seemed to, to be okay uh, you know it will still hit every gear but there is a delay so I've also experienced uh, what I think is slipping so here's something else this transmission is doing so I'm in normal halfway floor to the floor I'm on the ground there it goes so huge massive delay there it doesn't want to actually downshift um, and then go faster it just wants to get stuck in gear so we can do it again 50% throttle 70 it's not doing anything so I think that there's definitely something going on there's been tons and tons of comments you know check this check that you know even as, as much as like the fluid level uh, wow this car's not gonna go he's not gonna cause an accident so the, the car doesn't know what it's doing um, you've got some massive stuttering going on a little bit of slipping so we're gonna drop the car off hopefully they don't have it for too long hopefully it's an easy fix I don't know if it's a solenoid thing some of the Ford achieving gears uh, I don't know the 10 the 10 R80 is a complex beast you know it was co-developed with GM and the ZL1 it does really really well with the Mustang it's the hardware is mostly the same if you didn't know this but the software tuning is a little bit different. And there certainly has been an abundance of issues with the 1819 Mustangs. But I don't think that, that should scare you away from buying one because the people that have issues are like very slim. You know, this is, these are not common issues. Uh, with the 10 R80, it's not a common thing. How are you? Good, you? How can I help you? I had an appointment today. Um, you know what? I had an appointment today. What time? I think it was right about now, 9.15 maybe. Yep. If you just want to leave the keys inside for me, okay. Stay front for me right over here. All right. Here we go. Got a transmission issue going on? Uh, yes, sir. What's happening with it? So it started about, I think about 4,500, it's got 6,200 miles on it now, okay. uh, about 4,500 uh, miles. Under normal driving, what would happen is um, it's got a lot of hard shifting going on. Okay. I know there's TSP out there that exists. I think mm -hmm. it, I don't know if it was the 19s or maybe the 18s, but for hard shifting. But um, under aggressive throttle, mm -hmm. sometimes it will skip fifth gear. When it goes into fifth gear, okay. um, it's above and beyond like a hard shift. It's, it's like an audible hard clunk, like you're getting like kicked in the back. The whole okay. car will shake. So that's under aggressive acceleration. Acceleration. Right. Sometimes okay. it will do that under normal street driving too. I okay. mean like 35 mile an hour. Okay. So when it's up shifting, sometimes it will sh it will skip past that fifth gear. Um, okay. And then when it downshifts, I've mostly felt it in third, you know, going slow, just okay. coming to like a, a stop line or something. Um, when it hits third, the whole car will shudder. So I don't, I don't know. Okay. But uh, slipping, there's some slipping issues I felt going up like moderate hills. Yeah. It, it won't, downshift like it's supposed to it'll, it'll hold gear and i'll, I'll give it 
No, it, it they don't roll stays. Okay. It stays in high gear. Okay. And what will happen is, I actually got video of it. Um, so I give it the throttle, 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 trying to make it just downshift, and it won't mm -hmm. until I'm almost like floored. Then it will aggressively drop, you know, a few gears like Probably. it thinks I'm trying to take off. So, so it was in was it in our body shop here? Yes. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. How long ago has that been? Do you know? Uh, a month and a half, maybe. Not long. Not long. Okay. When you drive, when you're driving the car, uh, at times it skips fifth gear. When driving around 35 miles an hour, when downshifting, the car shudders and shakes. Uh, and also, you say it doesn't change gears, right? When you're downshifting uh, and upshifting. What's that? Upshifting is is yes. When it doesn't change gears. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's it's not a hunting thing. It's. Okay. Uh, you know, sometimes it'll thud into like fifth gear. I mean, I'm like a wham. Like okay. The the, okay. the first time that I experienced it was it felt like the transmission was coming out of the bottom of the car. It was okay. it was that, that significant. Well, we're gonna get in and check it out, and also the audio unit. Correct. Uh, when you're punching it. it yeah, lags. sometimes it won't respond to where to lag. Okay. So. Okay. With something like this, this is gonna have to go in a transmission dag line. That's where it's gotta go. Yeah. Um, that takes a while. I will tell you. Define a while. Could take all day. Oh, Easy. no, I'm not expecting to have Easy. the car back for next week. Okay. You know, that's fine. Okay. Um, I just like to tell people on the front end because it's just something like that. It's not going to go like a regular appointment. No, that's... Have to that's see what it's doing. They'll have to diagnose it, and then I'll have to figure out what we need to do. I'm fully expecting the report transmission because they may need to. Absolutely. All right. Here's the new Project Carnage 2018 F-150. This is nice. This is the best liner that I've had yet. This is like a last minute thing that didn't have any cloth interior, but you do have the center console, which is sweet. We're gonna have to do like a review on this. This is sweet. I like this. Well, this is pretty nice. I've been in a truck in a while. I like trucks. And uh, these new F-150s are something else. They're really nice. And I think they have the, uh, I think the new F-150s have the 10-speed in them, too. I guess we'll find out. I like this thing. This thing is cool. Well, that's it. We traded in Project Carnage. It was fun while it lasted. We still have a 10-speed. We got it in this new F-150. Hope you guys like it. It's going to be big for the channel. Uh, Project Carnage is gone. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, it's got auto start and stop. I hate that shit. Oh, I hate it. Maybe, maybe the next project car for the channel shouldn't be another Mustang. Maybe it should be a truck. Let me know what you think about that. Maybe we can do something crazy. So we'll have our fast on-road street car and then we, maybe we can do like an off-road or something like that. I don't know. I've, I like trucks. I don't really know much about that whole side of the world and everything. It looks like a lot of fun, the off-roading scene, um, but, you know, let me know. <laughs> full of ideas right now. But uh, I like this truck. Um, we're going to have to definitely do a full review on it. So the car is going to be in the shop. Um, he thinks it's going to be past the day. I was, I was basically telling him, yes, I expect it to be. I expect them to drop the transmission. And then uh, I hope that they do find something wrong and they don't come back and be like, oh, it's normal because we all know that it's not. Um, and we'll just keep going back until we figure out the problem. I think there's a DSP out there. It, I think it exists for the F-150 actually. And it was basically a reprogram um, for the 10 speed. Now, does that exist for the Mustang? I don't know. The service guy couldn't tell me anything. The tech guys will know everything. Uh, I know some tech guys, so I'm going to reach out to them and talk to them. Speed Addict 731 is one of them, and he actually has a YouTube channel. But hopefully we find some issues. Hopefully we get them fixed, and then hopefully we are back on the road uh, very quickly 
and uh, a timely fashion with Project Carnage, but we do want to make sure that they do their job correctly, and we want to find this problem, because I know it's there. It's something, there's something going on, but uh, we shall see. You're gonna drive this to Georgia? <laughs> I'm getting my clickbait ready. <laughs> I hope, I hope they don't get all pissed off when they see it. I mean, I have to. You know, it's it's a truck. We have a Mustang channel and it's a truck. We have to clickbait this video. Are you What, do you, you don't like it? I love it. Go look at the inside. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's sweet. I think we should trade the Mustang in and get this. We should. What the hell? No. We should have both. Yes. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's got 10 speed. Still not 10 speed automatic. I could to drive this to Georgia. Yeah. But is this the V8? Or is this the. Um, that's. Oh, that's parking. Oh shit, that's digital parking. I don't know what I'm doing. See, this is why I don't drive trucks. Yeah, that. Leave it to a woman. Oh, it's probably got. No, I don't. There you go. See, how do trucks have hood struts, but Mustangs don't? And they cost like the same money. So, this is the EcoBoost. So, we have an EcoBoost in the family now. Oh, man. Shit's getting real. <laughs> you guys wanted me to get twin turbos, right? Well, here it is. Here's, a, here's our turbo eco beast. Tell you what, let's finish off this video with a little pull and an F-150 10 speed. Without being too illegal, we're gonna do speed limit, all right? <laughs> Cops are coming after YouTubers. There it goes. Oh, what the hell, this thing's faster than my Mustang. This is bullshit. This thing's got some balls. Oh man!